Hey, this is Danny from Talkitoo, and today I'm excited to show you the new, simpler way to use a Philips speech mic with your Talkitoo, right out of the box. You no longer need to install any additional software or manually configure anything. With the new version, when you plug in a speech mic, or if you start up Talkitoo while well, it's already attached, you will see this pop up here. If you're an existing user who is already set up and happy with the way things are working, click No Thanks, I'm already set up, and continue to use it as you always have. If you're new to Talkitoo or want to use the new simpler method instead, go ahead and click Switch Device Profile. That will bring you to the settings page, and the first thing you want to do is ensure that the speech mic is selected from the list here. Once it's selected, you will see the panel below. This shows you the microphone buttons and the first time that you're going to use your speech mic with Talkitoo, you'll want to click on the device setup tab and follow the simple instructions here. So together we will press the EOL button on the top left and the INS button on the top right. I'll hold them down for three seconds and you'll hear that little sound. Then go ahead and press the INS button one more time and you'll see it flash and hear a little beep. Now you're ready to go. If you click back to the speech mic controls tab here, you'll see what all of the buttons now do. So the red button in the center of the microphone is the start and stop dictation button. This takes the place of manually clicking the start and stop button on the screen with your mouse. The button right below that, the play pause button, is your enter button. So it's the same as saying new line or pressing the enter or return key on your keyboard. On the top right is the INS slash OVR button, which is the same as your tab key on your keyboard. This allows you to jump from one form field to the next, or in a Word document, move forward uh, four spaces. On the top left, the EOL button is the shift tab command, which is the same as reverse tab. This allows you to go back in the order when you're tabbing through fields. Most people don't know about this function, but it is extremely useful if you do a lot of tabbing. Below the play pause button is a trackpad that you can use with your thumb to move your mouse around. The buttons to either side of that are the left and right click respectively, just like on a normal mouse. For the Mac users here, uh, right click will bring up a context menu in many cases. Well, there are other buttons on the speech mic. Takatu does not use any of them at this point. Some of them do have pre-configured functions, which you can see in the help desk article. Now for a quick demo, I will bring up DVMAX with a test patient and show you how you can use it. So right off the bat here in these form fields here, I'm pressing the INS button and you see I'm jumping between the various fields. And if I hit the EOL button on the top left, I go back. If I jump up to the notes section here, I'll go ahead and press the red record button here. And you notice how it's now listening and it is now recording everything that I say. Once you're finished speaking, pause for a brief moment to allow the transcription to complete and then go ahead and press the red button again to stop the dictation. Note that it is normal for the red light on this microphone to be lit up uh, even while you're not dictating and talk to is not active. It is just a function of the mode that the microphone is in. It does not mean that it is recording or listening at all times. If you have any other questions about the new way to use talk to with the speech mic or anything at all to do with talk to, don't hesitate to reach out to our support department. Thank you.